let's talk about portraits today i haven't still mastered portraits but this video is my attempt to show you how i learned to draw portraits i'm not an expert and today i will only be talking about drawing portraits from the front and not from different angles because that can be taken up as a separate video altogether in this video i'm just going to show you two ways of learning how to draw portraits you can also follow my pinterest board um it's called portraits on my pinterest account called the art of noon i'll also put the link in my description um there are multiple photo references that you can find in this board to draw portraits of all ages or skin tones they're mostly women um because i'm not still comfortable drawing men um but hopefully i will be adding more so today i will be picking up one of these references and show you two ways which helped me in learning how to draw portraits so let's get started so this is the pinterest board and let's select um one image that um we can illustrate and let me show you the easiest method of uh, drawing a portrait or even learning to draw a portrait uh, so let's just select one photograph so we just select this one and then i'll just take a screenshot of this and, and then we can get started on the first method of drawing a portrait so I've brought this image uh, into Procreate and now um, in this method uh, we are going to trace on this image. I'm going to reduce the opacity of this. This uh, process is not about tracing uh, something blindly but to really dig deep and see how um, different features of the face are uh, for example what's the shape of the eyes what's the shape of the nose and uh, things like that you can also study the sh shape of the faces um, through this method so this is not just simply blindly tracing um, a photograph it is really about digging deep it's an easier way but that doesn't mean that um, you should blatantly trace everything you see so here uh, you can see that she has uh, an oval face um, i'm focusing first on drawing just uh, the shapes and looking at this photo um, as shapes there are different ways in which you can draw a nose or eyes or lips um, so before I've chosen to draw um, the eyes or nose or lips in a certain way I have tried out uh, different other ways of drawing um, them as well example i'm going to show you an example of um, drawing different kinds of noses so as you can see this was one way of drawing a nose uh, this is another way of drawing a nose and then you can also draw the nose like this this is how i draw or you can draw it in a more elaborate way like this or in a much more simpler way like this the key here is uh, to remember that before you decide on a particular 
style you should ideally uh, try to draw a feature in multiple different ways and this method only will teach you the proportions and the shapes of every feature now i'm just going to complete this uh, sketch and then we can move on to another example um, using the same technique that we talked about here and draw that now I'm just going to remove the photograph and then work on uh, the portrait without without the uh, photograph so this is uh, one very easy method with which I learned uh, to draw portraits and I hope this is helpful uh, let's move on to another photograph uh, which is of an older person and see how we can learn to draw portraits of uh, older people so as you can see this is the photo that we screenshotted for an older person which has a little more hair detail so let's let's draw this again I'm just simply tracing this so there are different ways in which you can make hair um, I just I just use I just always make hair first of all in like a shape and then I go in and detail each part of the hair so let's draw the eyes again it depends on what style you want to draw everything in if you notice older people have more wrinkles so we are going to incorporate the wrinkles especially below the eye near the eye um, you all, they also have smile and wrinkles so that's how you can represent older people as well you just have to add in a few lines to your illustration so in this in this illustration there is a possibility to do the hair so that's why in my case I just draw the hair in form in form of shapes and then I detail out each hair strand like this that is one way of drawing or if you like if you don't like drawing the overall shape you can just simply start drawing and drawing the hair basically the detail of the hair so this is one way of learning how to draw portraits let me show you the other way which is a little more difficult way of learning to draw portrait but through experience you can uh, master it and let's just select another portrait to draw in, in the second method uh, that I'm going to show you in this method we are not really going to trace um, the photograph but we are going to draw by observation and let's just select um, this photo of Rupi Kaur and let's just draw it so as you can see I'm going to screenshot this and then um, bring it as a reference photograph on Procreate we are just going to use uh, this photo as a reference and look at it and draw if you see here her face is almost like an egg or an ellipse so 
I'm going to first draw an ellipse, I guess. A longer ellipse. So the key is to identify the shapes in here and then draw. Now what I usually do, make a central line here and make a line somewhere. This is your half. This is your almost half point. So what I'm doing here is that uh, making a grid on top of the photograph itself and then projecting the grid on our drawing so that we can understand the position of each of our features. So I have divided our face into two parts here and then we are again going to divide our face into two equal parts here and then your eyes will go in line with your ear which is a little above the middle here and then We'll check where her lips are going. So they are going a bit here. And then I'm going to carve out her face from this. And see approximately where her hair is and I don't know if this is an effective way of drawing but it has definitely helped me and then her chin is here her chin is too much below so I make the And then we can, of course, detail out. And so what I've done is that I have used her proportions from the photographs and then translated them on, on my portrait. I am going to reduce the opacity and then detail out this. A lot of times it, it, it is not very accurate, but that's okay. It's a visual representation of a person. so. It's okay as long as you can get the profile right so I'm just detailing out it's kind of similar but yeah I think her eyes could be a little more almondy um, so so let's let's finish this illustration let's color this and i will show you how i color a basic portrait i pulled up the photograph here and this is a sketch that i did earlier without tracing so i already picked her skin color and then i'm just creating 
in the color palette for this and just picking colors from here and putting them here so that I don't have to I can just close this off and color okay so we have everything I'm not sure if I want to use the same colors but we'll see so now I'm just going to remove this and start drawing so what I usually do I'm going to use the dry ink pencil today because it's just faster and also has a good texture and I'm going to finish drawing the face now let's make the shadows so what I usually do is I'll choose a color which is a little darker than the skin color and I'll start drawing shadows I'm just drawing this roughly right now and then we can always tweak this I'm going to reduce the opacity for this so that it's a little better and then fix so let's move on and do more shadows she is looking good I think I'm in the shadows there. She has bigger eyes, so that's why I'm drawing in the eye socket here. I usually, it depends on the illustration, I usually try not to outline my illustration but then it depends on you I am only outlining the areas where I want to show a clear distinction in colors so the hair is complete she looks pretty much and like Ruby Gold, so happy about that. I'm I'm almost done with this, and I think I'm pretty happy with this uh, portrait. Uh, it's important to note that it's not necessary that you have to do this uh, with an iPad or on a Procreate app. You can do this definitely on paper as well. You might have to print out a few things and uh, use tracing paper for this. At this point, I am happy with this illustration and I might add some words to it. So I'm just going to share a little time lapse of me adding the words. <laughs> 